Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today I'm back here with a new app on the Amazon Fire Stick. It's a new app that's circling around on the Amazon Fire TV. It supposedly comes in handy. We're going to check it out together to see what it has to offer. It's supposed to tell you a lot of your device health information and it's supposed to give you the awareness that you need to know if your device is moving rather slow and the reason for it. So let's go and double check to see what this app has to offer. So I'm going to go and pull this app up. So this app is called Purple Tools. Let's go ahead and check it out to see what it has to offer. In the top left hand corner, you see the network info. It's got the Wi-Fi signal bars signaling that I am connected through Wi-Fi. It does say my link speed down below is 12, 1200 megabits per second. Even having 1200 megabits per second being detected on the Amazon Fire Stick is a little overkill. And what I mean by that, I'm just gonna go and give you a side-by-side -side comparison here. So if I head to the settings and then go into the regular network settings in the Amazon Fire TV, if I click the play button and click on run speed test within the Amazon Fire TV and not the Purple Tools app, you'll get a glimpse of my internet speed from what the operating system on the Amazon Fire TV is telling me I have. So that's a 5 gigahertz connection that I'm connected to on the Amazon Fire TV. As you can see, it says my internet speed is 335 megabits per second. And normally the Fire TV will, won't pick up anything more than 400 to 500 megabits per second, even if you have a 1000 megabits per second internet connection. So I'm surprised the Purple Tools app is detecting how much internet speed you're actually getting and the fact that it's so much increased versus what the Amazon Fire TV is telling me I'm getting is very interesting. So let's go back to the Purple Tools app to see what else it has to offer. All right, so once again, it's picking up my link speed, which is 1202 megabits per second. I will say I am using AT&T Fiber, so I do have a thousand megabit per second connection. So that's interesting that it's picking that up and the Fire TV is not. The next category that we have here is the RAM section. It says we're using 1.3 gigabits out of 1.8 gigabits of RAM per the Amazon Fire Stick. And the device that I am using today is the Amazon Fire Stick Max 4K Edition. And this, and this Fire Stick comes with about 2 gigs of RAM. So I'm assuming available is 1.8 gigabits of RAM. And judging by the chart here, it does say we're hovering around a little bit in between 80 and 60% uh, RAM usage. So if I was to break this down for you, so basically RAM is being used up by all the apps you have running in the background of your Amazon Fire Stick. So you may ask yourself, well, how do I check to see how much RAM I have running in the background of the Amazon Fire Stick? So I'll go ahead and show you this. And there's two apps that you can use that will check this simultaneously and you can manage it all from one app. That's DevSquid. And then there's background apps and processing lists. So let's go ahead and open up one of those two. So I'm gonna open up background apps and processing lists. And I open this one just so I can get a glimpse of every app that I have running and it gives me a picture and a thumbnail of each app that I have running in the background. So it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, there's at least maybe 15 apps in here that are running in the background. So what I wanna do is close all of these apps out, open Purple Tools again and check the RAM again to see if closing those apps made any difference of RAM usage on our Amazon Fire Stick. So, if it does, then you know our performance on the Amazon Fire Stick, our experience of using it won't be, it shouldn't be sluggish, it shouldn't be buffering, it should be smooth sailing. So let's go and close all these apps and I'm gonna pick back up once I've closed all these apps. All right, so I went ahead and closed all of those apps. Also, if I hit the refresh button, you'll see that it doesn't load any more apps running in the background. So let's go ahead and open up Purple Tools again to see what our RAM is at. So we're opening up Purple Tools. We'll see what it says for our RAM. 
All right, and from the look of it, it doesn't look like it went down much, but it did go down about 0.2, and then now it's popped right back up to 0.3, uh, and that's 1.3. Um, I know the highest I saw was 1.4 gigabits. So closing those apps didn't really make a difference per this particular app. Um, it does seem to be coming down uh, and resting at 1.2 gigabits. Um, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, the more RAM we have, the more resources we have available for that next app that we use to stream. So it didn't make that much of a difference as far as the chart goes. We're still hovering in between 80 and 60%. I'm not sure if we can get anywhere below that, considering we don't have any other apps running in the background right now. And the moment we start opening up more apps, it's gonna use more RAM. So definitely keep that in mind as far as the RAM section. I would like to do an in-depth video on that as far as like if we can get this below one gig, if it's even possible. So I'll definitely play around with that. If I come across something, I'll bring it to you in a video. So the next window here is the internal storage on the right hand side. You have internal storage, it says 12 gigs used out of 16 gigabits. And if you wanted to at the very bottom here, so on the very bottom here, you can drill down to some of that internal storage. If you wanted to click on files, if you click on files, it'll dr let you drill down. It says 3.73 gigabits free. And if you were to come in here and click on APKs, if you had some in here, you can go ahead and manage that and delete those items out of here if you wanted to. Also, you can click on internal storage as well, and you can drill down even farther. So there's various different apps within the internal storage, and you don't want to delete everything. But if you were to just look through these categories and pick a folder, and if you wanted to delete those items, you can. Just don't delete anything important. So under this folder in particular, APK time, I know I've downloaded items from there. If I click on APK time, I got a rapid streams APK in there. If I click the three lines on my remote or just click on that item, do a long press. So if I long press with the center button, I can delete that item. If I click on delete, it'll delete this permanently. I'm just going to click on delete and that will delete that cache file that I no longer need because I've already downloaded the app and I don't need the download file for that. So I'll just proceed and you can do the same thing with your device. So that's definitely a plus. If I go back here, if if I click on device info, it gives me a little bit more information, not much information. Also, if I click on apps, you can manage your apps from this app as well. If you wanted to see all the apps that you have on your Amazon Fire Stick or just simply open one of those apps up, you can definitely do that as well. If I click on storage, it gives me a breakdown of all the apps that I have here. So this is kind of like iPhone. If you click on iPhone storage, it'll break down in different categories of which files are taking up the most amount of space so i have zero and documents i have zero and apk zero and video zero and audio zero and images the bulk of my items are from apps and the data that i have stored on those apps the next thing i have here is developer mode if i click on developer mode you can manage your uh, settings here from apps from unknown sources i can turn this on if i wanted to and it'll take me directly to the install an app section if i click the back button it takes me right back to the app itself all right so it does have a speed test section i did run the speed test but it didn't work as good as the one on the home screen so we'll go ahead and skip that step there is a vpn section if you wanted to run a vpn straight from this app so that's definitely a plus they have uh let's see what states they have or countries they have so they have a lot of different countries you, United Kingdom, Romania, Germany, France, Netherlands, Italy, Bulgaria, Belgium, South Africa, Poland, and Spain. Those are the only countries that you can select. And then you have Manchester and London for the other cities. Um, so those are the cities that it has to offer. I don't even see US if, if there was a user who wanted to download this from outside of the US and then pick US. I don't see that as an option. So that's definitely a bummer. So if you're a US, if you're already in the US, you can definitely check out other countries using this VPN. So that's definitely a plus. And then they have settings here. Under the settings, you can clear your cache if you wanted to. So if you want to clear your cache, that would be clearing the cache on this specific app. So that's uh, 
comes in handy, but if you're only clearing the cache on this particular app, it's not gonna make much of a difference. Um, but as far as that, this is Purple Tools. This app, it definitely comes in handy in my opinion. It doesn't, you know, give you everything that you need as far as like an all-in-one app to fix buffering and close out apps and clear cache and do almost everything in one app. Um, so it just gives you basic information, gives you the RAM, gives you the network information. I would say that's probably the most handy features that this comes with. And then the files where you can manage your storage space and go in here and delete various files that are uh, being hidden from you. So now you have access to those files, but definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this app. It comes in handy for me just slightly. Let me know how much it comes in handy for you in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.